And we begin tonight with falling temperatures that will bring snow and ice to parts of Middle Tennessee. Good evening, everyone. The latest round of winter weather could cause problems for the morning commute. So let's check in with Lisa to see who is going to be affected. Mainly from Nashville south and east and on Storm Tracker, you can already see some of the frozen precipitation mixing with rain down to our south. We're beginning to see it show up on the radar here in Nashville, but not a lot of this reaching the ground right around the Music City. But notice this big swath of purple and the white, of course, is indicative of snow just south of Jackson there. All of this is sliding up from the southeast and will continue to head our way as we go through the overnight time frame. Now again, here's a look at Nashville down to Franklin and Brentwood. We see a little bit of the pink for maybe some sleet trying to get to the ground and you may hear some pellets every now and then especially from Franklin South. We're getting some reports down in Marshall County around Chapel Hill. Some sleet there all the way down into the Lawrenceburg area. You're gonna have some freezing rain and some snow. It's mostly wet weather down 24 to the southeast right now and riding up to the plateau. These temperatures are just a couple of degrees above freezing but they're the folks who may get more ice than snow out of this but they may end up with some snow on top of ice which is the worst case scenario. Then you can't really tell how slippery the roads would be. We're hugging 32 degrees and have been for some time. Clarksville 28, you may have some brief flurries, but this is more of a south and eastern event for us tonight. Even Davidson County could be split as far as who gets snow and who doesn't. It's mainly downtown south and off to the east that I think will have the best chances. So normally it's Ridgetop up to Jolton that does. This time it may be just a little bit different. The low temperatures tonight will be cold enough that once the precipitation falls and sticks, it's not going anywhere. We're looking at at mid to upper 20s for our low temperatures. Now here's the latest from Predictor. Notice by midnight 1230 we have a steady line of snow right along I-40 west of Nashville and getting north of 40 on the east side. All the pink that you see would be the sleet and freezing rain and that rain off to the southeast. But those areas also changing over to the icing situation first. At 130 we see a little flare up here from Franklin, Brentwood into Nashville over into Mount Juliet, Laverne and Smyrna of the snow. So that may coat services with a good half inch, maybe even an inch in spots because at three o'clock the coldest air starts to move in and that's when that snow area may blossom just a little bit for a very short amount of time and then it starts to pull away very quickly but the damage will be done because it's coming in in the overnight time frame not a lot of cars out there traveling the roadways it looks like it will leave them slippery tomorrow morning we're going to get some more bad weather it's already sleeting in middle tennessee let's check in with lisa it's not a major weather system, but it's just enough to cause us trouble on the roadways, especially as we get into these overnight hours and early tomorrow. And I think that uh, school closings or late openings list will grow pretty dramatically as we get into daybreak tomorrow because it's cold. And what you see on the radar here is going to stick. We're going to eventually get down into the 20s. We're holding at 32 in Nashville, and we already have sleep pellets coming down. So we could start to get some slick bridges and overpasses. Now, this is mainly rain down 24 and 40 off to the east of Nashville, but you too are going to get caught up in the colder weather. What you see back to the southwest, that is the sleet, some freezing rain, and even snow is showing up well back to our southwest. Let's take a look at where that's going on. You can see back here, just back to the west of Centerville and down 40 to the west, we see this area of bright white from Lexington uh, just to where you're about to cross the river. So Lobelville and Centerville gotten some, uh, getting some frozen precipitation there, and we are looking down at Hohenwald getting some of that frozen precipitation as well. So we're keeping an eye on that for you. And again, here in the Nashville area, we too are looking at some of this sleet that's already falling, coming right down 65 and areas south of town as well, down around Murray County. So it won't take long before it starts to accumulate. The temperature is going to drop from this point on. So it could cause some pretty big problems for folks, even though it's not a whole lot of snow and ice. Nashville south and east, that's where we expect about a half inch to an inch. There could be a few pockets over on the plateau. So we have a little bit more than that. And really, the further you get south and east of Nashville, that's where the bigger problems might be eventually. Even though it's rain now, it looks like they could change over to freezing rain with a layer of ice on the ground, and then they could get a light coating of snow on top of it. That's worst case scenario, but you think, I can drive in the snow, right? What you might not realize is there could be ice under it. The greatest amounts of snow will be up on the northern Highland Rim and the Cumberland Plateau as we get into early morning hours. Temperatures right now, it's 28 in Clarksville. This northwestern corner is not really going to get the worst of this system. You may see a few flurries pass by and because it's so cold, it may stick to a few surfaces. It just won't be a lot. It's Nashville south and east. You can see some of these temperatures down here are just barely above freezing, but it's just wet so far. Murfreesboro has 
has reported some uh, pockets of sleet already at 33 degrees. So 11 o'clock, it's mainly this mix from Nashville south, 32 degrees. 30 degrees at 3 a.m., that's when we're more into the snow and ice that's sticking and accumulating. Not a lot, but just enough. As we get into 6 a.m., really even before then, we're going to have slick roads. So if you're an overnight driver, early morning driver, please be very slow and careful, especially on bridges and overpasses. It looks like we'll drop to about 27 here in the Music City. And again, here's Predictor. It shows this area of frozen precipitation sliding east, even into McMinnville and Shelbyville up to Cookville. And this swath of snow that you see from about Franklin, Brentwood, Nashville into the Antioch area over into Mount Juliet, Lebanon, Hartsville, that's going to explode a little bit as the coldest of air comes in and squeezes out the moisture. So that's when I think we'll get most of our accumulation. And that slides off to the east. Really, by the time we get to the morning commute, the precipitation is gone. The sun's trying to pop out again, but the damage is already done. So again, you can tell it's south and east of Nashville that we're most concerned about. What could be really tricky is down this way where you get the ice and then the snow on top of it. Anywhere we have a little bit of snow, it could always be tricky. So uh, we are looking as we get into the morning hours having more school closings. You can always check those at WKRN.com or of course Justin will have those tomorrow morning. And we want to get your pictures. Be a part of the iReport 2 network picks at WKRN.com. So tomorrow, slick roads to start. We'll get above freezing probably by about 10, 11 to noon, 34 degrees. It's not going to warm up much, but enough to maybe melt that ice and snow on the roads at least. 37 around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry, kids, you're not going to be able to play in the snow for long because it just won't last all that long. It's not that much. 22 for the low tomorrow night, 42 on Wednesday. So there may still be some icy back roads Wednesday morning. This next wet weather system does look wet. But we're going to be flirting with some maybe mixed precipitation as it starts early Saturday morning. All well, the wind and the rain howled tonight. It was a spooky Halloween night, thanks to Mother Nature. Here's Lisa. And it's not over yet. We still have a tornado watch for all these counties highlighted in red, including Nashville, Murfreesboro, Franklin, and Wind Advisory. The yellow counties are the ones with the severe thunderstorm warnings right now. We don't have any active tornado warnings. Hopefully, we won't get any. And my goodness, we've had a ton of wind damage without any storm activity at all, just because of the wind flow ahead of this frontal boundary. It has uh, been wicked out there tonight, no doubt about it. This first line, no warnings with it. There are the handful of warnings back to the west with the secondary line. Nashville getting wet right now, still with very gusty winds. And down in Williamson County here in the Franklin area, you can see very heavy rain coming up 96 from the west. It's already made its way through the Fairview area. Natchez Trace uh, seeing a lot of that. Leapers Fork in a very heavy rain now. And Franklin, it's picking up for you. Now, you don't necessarily get a whole lot more wind with this. It's already pretty strong, but you could see it bump up another five to 10 miles per hour briefly. And that's the thing. This line will be fairly brief. It'll come and go in a probably 20 minute time frame. And then we'll have the next one that's back to the west to deal with a little bit later on tonight. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, midnight before it's all done in Nashville. Uh, hopefully uh, a lot sooner than that for the folks west of town. But obviously it could last into the night off to the east of 65. And we'll keep an eye on it for you for any warnings. The heavy rain extends from just south of downtown Nashville. It's a little bit more scattered in nature here in the downtown area, coming into Franklin, coming into Spring Hill, Columbia, you're going to have some of that too. Again, no warnings with this line. The winds already out ahead of it have done quite a bit of damage. Right now we are at 71 degrees with a dew point of 60 degrees. This is very moist air and very warm and humid for this time of year, which sets the stage for that risk of severe weather. But look at the winds. The steady winds are out of the south, southwest at 26. They're gusting up to 44 miles per hour. So that has been the problem out there this evening. And we knew with the kids out that would be so dangerous with tree limbs and trees coming down. We've had lots of reports of that around the mid state. Here's a look at predictor. It shows this line coming through Nashville quickly over into Lebanon through Murfreesboro, Shelbyville by 1130. It shows the secondary line maybe weakening a little bit, but still we're going to watch it very carefully. Notice by 1230 Cookville, McMinnville, Winchester, this uh, line of heavier rain coming through your neck of the woods probably after this line comes through Nashville after midnight, we'll start to see the winds back off. Certainly already in the Clarksville area that will happen. And then when we get into Friday morning with a little bit of cloud cover lingering, maybe a few sprinkles off to the east. And by the time we get into Friday night, mainly clear skies, some 
People will be trick-or-treating in their neighborhoods tomorrow night, and it looks like the weather will be great for it, just a little bit cooler. So tomorrow, a dry drive in the morning, the sun trying to pop out, 7 a.m., 56 degrees, 66 at noon, about 66 degrees at 5. You'll want to grab a jacket if you're headed out Friday night because we're going to watch that temperature drop off pretty quickly, 45 degrees. And then Saturday, we're looking at a chilly day, 61 degrees will be the high temperature there, 38-degree uh, temperature for the low. So uh, we are looking at Halloween having been quite a sloppy mess for us out there uh, today, but that is going to be history as we get into Friday, maybe do some dry trick-or-treating then. Sunny through the first of next week and then more rain by Wednesday and Thursday.